My fellow Idahoans, today marks a very unique Memorial Day. We have all been asked to observe a day that is meant to bring us all together for reflection and reverence apart. Though right now you may be social distancing from your family and friends, abstaining from the usual events that we all cherish. Please know that together we are all reflecting on the incredible Americans that have fallen in service to this nation. They made the ultimate sacrifice, a sacrifice that humbles us each and every day. We take this day to stop and think deeply about the freedoms their service continues to afford us. I ask that all Idahoans take a brief moment out of this day to give remembrance to all those who have fallen so that their memory may endure, to be a beacon of hope for the principle that this nation was founded on. In May of 1868, shortly after the end of the Civil War, General John Logan declared that one day a year there would be a nationwide day of remembrance, a time to lay flowers on the graves of the war dead whose bodies now lie in almost every city, village, and churchyard in the land. It's been said the greatest monuments to those who died in uniform are not carved in stone. They are scattered around the free world, blood and sweat spilled on foreign soils and at sea. We do not know one promise these men made, one pledge they gave, one word they spoke, said Congressman James Garfield in May of 1868. But we do know they summed up and perfected by one supreme act, the highest virtues of men and citizens. For the love of country, they accepted death, and thus resolved all doubts and made immortal their patriotism and their virtue. This Memorial Day, let's never forget those who have served in the name of protecting our nation's freedoms. We may not be able to gather physically in mass to remember our veterans, but let's observe a moment of silence in their memory for all the sacrifices and service they made for something bigger than themselves. May we never forget.